Hey guys, it's a beautiful Sunday morning. Um, I thought I'd just angle the little camera up there in the trees. We've got just a slight breeze today. That's beautiful. A bit of sun. It's absolutely fantastic for a winter's day anyway. My son's turned 18 today actually. He's uh, my youngest boy. So they've become adults. <laughs> and it's a, it's a beautiful feeling guys. It really is. Um, when you when your kids have, have um, turned into young adults and uh, you know, you've brought them up to the best of your ability with good morals and respect others and a good loving heart. And that's, I think I've instilled that into the both of my boys and I feel very proud that, and I'm proud for them that how, what they've achieved in their lives and how they treat others it's beautiful, it really uh, it's, it's, makes it all worthwhile, you know, guys. It really does. Now, <clears throat> I want to sort of talk about how, how doing the car <laughs> has, has um, for me personally, as a human being, uh, has, has pushed my boundaries. And I wanted that, you know, guys. I really wanted to be uh, pushed. I, I got to a point, I don't know if it was a midlife crisis or call it what you will, but it was this desire I had in me that I needed to, to push myself and prove to myself that I could do stuff I knew that I was capable of. And I'm well on the way to it guys and that's what I sort of want to touch on um, if you feel that you've got a burning desire and you have to have it in your heart to sort of do this sort of stuff I mean there's no point saying don't let ego get in the way ego is a terrible thing when it comes to um, to doing this sort of stuff it can it can override uh, the passion and the want for knowledge Ego is a very powerful thing, but if you've got a real desire to, to prove to yourself that you can achieve uh, pretty great things, and this is why I've sort of put this channel up, because it, it showcases that you can achieve stuff, guys, if you really put your mind to it, and that's what I was sort of wanting to, to, to point out. Um, and I'm only just sharing that experience, guys, because... I want you guys to to sort of um, you know be inspired to a to an extent. Um, it doesn't matter what sort of direction you're going with your car, whether you're drag racing, uh, street cruising. It all comes down to the passion inside, and that's been the driving force uh, for the channel and for what I'm doing with the car. I get more of a kick out of it guys when I can actually turn around and do and build something uh, not so much hand over the money for the next guy to do I get more of a kick out of it um, yeah creating stuff for the car and that's I might I might I might not be an expert at it my worlds mightn't be perfect uh, but I'm really seriously trying my hardest and I'm willing to learn I'm willing to to take the time to try to do the best I can and that's where I get a lot of satisfaction out of guys you know that just just building this car to the point now where it's uh, I would say I'm probably around 80 percent 70 to 80 percent uh, to where I want it I've still got a lot more tweaking on it but you've, you've always got to have a goal you, you've got to keep pushing yourself guys and um, if you don't do that it can get a little bit uh, I wouldn't say boring but it, it, it can get a bit mundane that's probably the same word boring and mundane but if, so this is why I sort of keep pushing myself with the car all right okay I'll do this you know and rather than get someone else to do it and I get great satisfaction out of it, it it's it's an incredible feeling it really is guys so 
I hope you're really enjoying what I'm putting up, um, you know, for for entertainment value. And I hope you're picking something up out of it too. And I've said it on other vids too, guys, that, you know, the guys that sort of comment regularly on my channel and um, you offer that bit of information, whether it be right or, or not, it doesn't matter. It's It tends to... Um, it's show me something out of the box which I really like because that's what I'm about too guys I don't like following that mainstream um, sort of crowd on doing stuff I like to do stuff completely different sometimes you know you've got to do stuff that what everyone else is doing it's just because it works but there don't be fooled into thinking that you have to to follow everyone's uh, advice or what everyone else is doing you can do stuff completely different and work incredibly well um, you know with the with the rear mount turbo guys I've, I keep rattling on about it and how beneficial it is for me uh, it mightn't be beneficial for some other guy but for what I do with the car it's incredibly it's got so many uh, benefits it's it far outweighs you know doing it any other way so yeah look I just yeah I just thought I'd throw this up guys I really my vids are about coming from the heart. I do a lot of testing. Um, I don't sort of just try stuff for the fun of it. I, I think about it a lot before I attempt to do something. And I do the research too. The internet's a great thing, you know. There is a lot of stuff out there you don't sort of... that doesn't make sense to me, um, whether it's true or not. But the stuff that sort of makes sense, that's the stuff you want to grab onto, guys. And you run with it because if, if you can understand something and you think well geez that's that's he's making sense that guy and it does make sense uh, if you understand what he's trying to put out well nine times out of ten you know it's it's probably true so and that's how it's helped me along doing a lot of the stuff that I've um, you know or well, this level I've sort of got to with the car yeah it's it's an incredible feeling it's it's really changed my life um, you know, and considering that, you know, I, I haven't spent a hell of a lot of money on the car uh, compared to what other guys have got to that level. Uh, so it is reasonably budget orientated, but I know where, guys, I have to spend the money. There's certain things that you've, you've really got to just spend it, and that's, that's the end of that. But there's other, a lot of areas where you can save, you can build it yourself. So you don't have to go and pay money to some fabricator or or whatever you know buying the the tig and that mig will save in the long run you know i mean it got me to weld the cage in it's got me to fabricate a lot of little things i'm starting to really enjoy that tig and the mig is fantastic for for throwing the welds down quickly but the tig you know you can do a lot of finer stuff so that means i can get into that little bit more fabrication side which is to me it excites me you know it really it really um it's it's it makes you feel that you've done something to the car and that's that's the biggest thing you know maybe even if your welds aren't as good as the guy you pay the money to but the satisfaction is incredible you know so yeah i'm just i'm just blabbing on here at the minute guys but i hope you can see where i'm coming from and i hope i'm inspiring you too guys uh to get out there and don't be scared. Have a go. You know, do do your research. Do the learning. Learning. You know, during the day while you're working or you're at home, kicking kicking back on the on the uh, YouTube, internet, whatever you're doing. But if if you've got an idea in your head, do the research, guys. It, it costs you nothing. Um, rather than sit there watching TV or watching stuff that it just clogs your brain. You're better off trying to learn that's what I've done I've completely changed my I rarely watch TV uh, but I can soon sit down and, and, and read up on something that interests me and um, when it comes to the car and that's it's amazing in the last four years and how much you can learn um, it's just wanting to do it and if you've got it in your heart and that passion it's you can do incredible things in such a relatively short time too guys so yeah I, I hope you I hope you sort of enjoy what I put up guys and are getting something out of it and uh, keep following me because I've really got a lot more to come 
as I increase the boost and you know like this water meth is it's been that this has been to me is one of the most significant changes for power uh, hands down without a doubt it's, it's unbelievable and uh, I want to keep learning with that and I'll share you all my experiences with it guys so yeah all right well I've started on the arms, I'm, I've changed my mind three or four times, I'm slowly settling down on one design but I'll, I'll put a vid up when I sort of get a, a move a bit more on it guys. I'll probably do it through the week, uh, middle to late in the week I'll, I'll be a bit more advanced on it and hopefully I can get some bits and I'll show you exactly what I'm up to. Until then guys, stay safe, I'll catch you later.